What we're going to talk about today is the convolution with an impulse input. Uh, we'll see that the convolution can be simplified with an impulsive input and we'll see that this is useful when we get talk about uh, sampling. So we'll start off with the relationship between an input and an output. So here, as you know, got x of t is feeding into system h sub t and we get our output y of t which is basically related between the input and the system response and the system response here h sub t is usually reserved for the impulsive input so we should get our output as the same as our uh, impulse response when our input is at impulse. So we let x sub t where we denote this as our impulse input. Now the integral, the convolution integral for a causal system goes from 0 to infinity. Here we got x sub tau where tau is a dummy variable. Uh, h t minus tau d tau. Since our input is an impulse we go from 0 to infinity del tau h sub t minus tau d tau. But only this integral, this convolution integral only exists at where the impulse exists and in this case the impulse exists at tau equals 0. So uh, let me write that down. Integral only exists when tau equals zero since that's where the impulse is located. So in this case zero to infinity uh, del tau is equal to 0 which means h sub t minus 0 d tau which is h sub t therefore our output is equal to the impulse response which makes sense alright we'll see that this property will be useful when we talk about the sampling concepts